Hi, I'm Dean from Just Copiers, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Konica Minolta print driver on a Mac. Open konicaminolta.com.au in a web browser and scroll down to Support and Downloads. Scroll down, and in the Downloader Driver section, select your product. In this case, we're searching for a C658. Scroll down and click the Go button. In the driver section, you'll need to select which operating system you're using. In this case, we're using Mac OS Sierra. Click on Printer Driver, select the latest driver, and click Download. Click to accept the user agreement, and then click on the larger file. You'll actually see the progress bar of the download up in the top right hand corner. Click the Close button, and then open the Downloads folder in Finder. Double click the file you just downloaded, it will unpack and you'll need to click on the mounted image. We're going to install the A4 driver, so open that folder and click on the package file inside. Installation is very simple. Click the continue button, click continue again, click continue one more time, then click agree. Click install, enter your password and click install software. When the installation is finished, just click Close. Now you'll need to open System Preferences. Click on the Apple, click on System Preferences. In Printers and Scanners, click the plus sign and select the printer that you want from the list. Our list is quite large due to the number of copiers we have installed in our office, but yours should be a nice small list. We're installing a Konica Nolta C658. When you click on it, it will search the copier for more information. I'm happy with the name of the copier, but we're going to change the location to Showroom. Where it says Use, click the drop down and select the, the driver that we've just installed. Now click the Add button. On the next screen, you're presented with the options that might be attached to your photocopier. You can choose a paper source unit, in this case, we don't have one to add. Finisher, ours was a FS536. Uh, we don't have a punch unit installed, so leave that as none. We don't have a Z fold unit and we don't have a post inserter. If everything's OK, just click the OK button. If you'd like to set it as a default printer, click on it and choose Set Default Printer. We're going to test printing by printing a Word document, so just click on File and choose Print. Now you can change your print options. Click on Copies and Pages, and below that line there you can see Output Method. The main thing we'd change in Output Method would be the user authentication or account track, but we'll cover that in another video. In the Layout and Finish tab, we can change options like two-sided, one-sided, booklet, and we can also choose where the binding position will be. You can also choose to, in the Finish options where to put the staple. In Paper Tray Output Tray, you can select which tray you'd like to be the source. The Quality menu is where you choose which colour you'd like. You can choose full colour or grayscale. Remember that grayscale is a lot cheaper to print than full colour. When you're ready to go, just press the print button. On behalf of myself and the team at Just Copiers, we'd like to thank you for watching this video and look forward to bringing you more in the future.